All right, Steve, so when you launch your uh, TV box, you should have the main menu. What you're gonna do is you're gonna launch the STB emulator, okay? So this is the set-top box emulator. You should have an icon down here in the bottom row that looks like a TV. I'll, and I'll show you what mine looks like, and yours is gonna look the same. Mine's in the apps menu. Okay, it looks like this. It says STB EMU. So just launch that from your home screen on your TV box. Once you do that, you're going to have a blue screen come up and yours probably says that the STB is blocked or of some sort. What you want to do from there is you want to bring up a menu so that you can change the settings. Now you have to do that via the mouse and it's kind of tricky. But what you want to do is take your cursor and you're going to click twice. But you have to make the clicks about two seconds apart. And once you do, it's gonna, another menu is going to pop up. And then you're going to select another, an option from the top right. So I'll walk you through how that looks. Okay, I'm going to click once. Click again. A little menu comes up. I'm going to scroll to the very, very top right. And I should see three little dots up in the top right. I select that, those three dots. Then I hit settings. From within settings, you want to scroll down to the section that says profiles. You can either use the keyboard or the mouse. Go over to profiles. Once you're in profile, just select the profile over here. Yours was a certain number, but that's the profile that was created. Just select that profile. And then from within there, scroll down to the third option called STB configuration. Select that. And then you'll notice there's an entry called Mac address. This is what you have to change. You have to change, uh, I believe, the last six digits. But I sent you an email with a step-by-step -step link on what what to choose here. It's, you have to make up your own number, but it has to be like certain numbers or certain letters. But you can do that yourself. And then once you do that, just do OK. Okay, then you can just hit Escape and exit out of all of this until you get back to the main screen. And then from here, it should, it should actually work. Okay, you should have something come up. If it doesn't, try going to settings again by clicking and then going up to the three dots up in the top right and go to profile and just make sure your profile is selected here. If it is, it's still not working. Just hit exit and then go back and then relaunch it again. Okay, so once you relaunch it, it should then uh, hopefully come up and then you should see some sort of emulator that looks like a Bell receiver or a Rogers receiver or whatever. And from there, you can either use the remote, okay, you can use your remote, the up and down buttons, or you can use your keyboard uh, up and down or your keyboard mouse to, to navigate the different channels. Anyhow, give that a try and uh, let us know how it works.